Hello, this is Stampy and welcome to a very special Crest video. And the reason this is a special Crest video is because I have a Crest growing clay pig. And this is a really cool thing. You can get it in uh, different animals and different shapes as a mushroom and thing as well. Um, but basically what this allows you to do is to grow Crest on the outside of the pig. As you can see, there's these grooves in the pig and you put the seeds inside of the grooves and you wouldn't think that cress could grow out of clay, but as I always say, cress is amazing and it can grow almost anywhere, including uh, on, a, on a clay pig. So what I'm gonna do in this video uh, is I'm gonna show you how to, to set it up uh, in case you wanna do it your, yourself and uh, kind of show you the, uh, the different steps of growth uh, that you get uh, after you grow cress on a, on a clay animal. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to get the, uh, the clay pig uh, nice and wet, basically. And uh, I realize that one of the legs seems to be falling off, so hopefully we're not gonna have a, a limpy piggy uh, in this, uh, this episode. So yeah, what you need to do is you need to get it uh, wet. And so what there actually is, as you might have noticed, there's a hole actually on the, uh, the inside. I want to uh, very carefully uh, pour water uh, into the, the hole. Uh, you'd normally do it over a tap and you want to be very careful and you want to, to try and fill it all the way to the, the top. And then what you actually do is you then leave it overnight and basically the, the clay absorbs all of the, the water. And uh, you might think that it won't really affect the, the outside, but it actually soaks through and actually makes it so the, the entire pig uh, is, uh, is nice and wet and ready for the, the seed. So you also need to get the, uh, the seeds and leave them in water overnight. And the way to do that is just to get an empty glass uh, you get your, your cress seeds, and when you buy these, uh, these clay animals, uh, they come with the, the cress seeds uh, already. Uh, you don't need to put all of them in uh, to, to cover the, the thing. You probably need to put about, probably about that many cress seeds in. I'm gonna put a few more uh, in just in case. So about that many cress seeds uh, will be uh, enough. Actually, just throw a few more in because, uh, yeah, you can never have enough cress, is uh, what I uh, always say. And then you just pour a little bit of water, just uh, enough to, to cover them. The seeds kind of float a little bit at first, but eventually they're gonna go and uh, sink uh, into the, uh, the glass of water. And then you need to leave both the cress seeds and the pig to soak overnight uh, until they're, they're both wet enough. And you'll actually see that the seeds might actually start to sprout and grow, even though they're here just inside the glass of water. Uh, and then uh, you go and place them inside of the, the pig. Luckily, we are not gonna have to, to wait all night for these to, uh, to, to get ready because I have already got some ready. Over here, you will see instead of a pig, I have a turtle and you can see uh, this is basically the exact same thing as the the pig uh, but this has been left uh, overnight to soak through and you can see uh, how wet it is now and i've also uh, got a, another glass of seeds here and once again uh, these have been growing overnight and you can see uh, that they've uh, started sprouting a little bit there and now is the the rather long and laborious task of trying to put the seeds in the groove so what you do is you just want to get a, a few of the the seeds and uh, you can see these little gaps here you just kind of want to squash them in. Some gaps are kind of a, a better size than, uh, than others. And uh, you basically just want to, to squash them uh, inside of uh, all of these little gaps uh, along here. And uh, basically they're just gonna go and, uh, and start sprouting uh, out of here. It does take a very long time uh, to put them in. because uh, you want to do it quite carefully because you don't want to, to squash uh, any of the, uh, the seeds as, uh, as you're putting them in. Uh, you just want to carefully go and place it inside of uh, all of the grooves. And uh, it actually takes uh, almost an hour uh, to get them all in, but it's quite relaxing and, uh, and quite fun. And of course, you're playing with crest seeds, so you're probably uh, going to, to be having a, a good time. So don't worry. Once again, I am not going to make you sit there and watch me putting seeds into a clay turtle for an hour. I've actually done it already. Uh, not into a turtle, uh, but I've actually uh, already done it on a goat. So if I go and grab my goat here, and so this is... Uh, a goat where I had the, the seeds uh, once again uh, in water overnight. Uh, I then put them into the, the grooves and this has been growing for a day as well. And you can see uh, that it started sprouting. I think it might have sprouted uh, a bit more uh, on this side as well. That's actually the, the side that was, uh, uh, was facing the, the window. And uh, I actually did a different technique for this goat rather uh, than going and placing it all in the grooves. Because it took so long the, the first time I tried doing this, I actually just poured, I got the, the glass of water with the seeds and over the sink, I kind of just poured it all over it and then just tried to spread it round. And I'm not sure 
uh, how well it's going to grow. I don't know if it's not going to grow as well as whether you placed it by hand, so it's up to you. If you want to be quick, you can try pouring it over. Uh, if you want to be careful and spread them out perfectly, uh, you can do it kind of seed by seed and placing it uh, into the, the grooves that way. And I do have uh, one more model uh, that I want to show you, and this one uh, has been growing for, for two days, and this is a Crest Clay Llama, and uh, as you can see, uh, there is a, a lot more growth. It kind of looks like it's got lots of little curly-haired uh, fur all over it there, and uh, uh, you can see uh, that it's still got the, the water inside us. That's what it looks like after it's been growing for two days. So you can see on this one uh, how pretty much all of the, the seeds are inside of the grooves and kind of spread out very equally, and that's the way it tells you to, to do it. It does take a long time. So as I said, uh, it's kind of uh, up to you. So now uh, you've kind of seen the, the process. Once all of the seeds are in and it's ready, all you need to do is make sure that you're constantly topping up, uh, topping up with water and uh, leaving it uh, somewhere where there's light. And apart from that, the crest is going to, to just keep growing. So uh, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. But I am going to be doing another video in the future once they've all grown. And I'll hopefully try and have them all in a row on my windowsill, uh, seeing them with all of the, the crests blooming out of them. And I think that will be, uh, yeah, very good fun to, to see. And so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to, to like the video and to, to subscribe and to share the video on your Facebook and MySpace page. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you later.